a glimpse of the future of manned spaceflight at the Airbus facilities in Bremen, Germany. The European Service Module, or ESM, is Europe's contribution to NASA's new Orion spacecraft, which will carry astronauts to the moon and beyond. 20 European companies have provided components for this first module, which will soon take part in Orion's first unmanned flight. In February, a contract was signed between ESA and Airbus to build NASA a second ESM for Orion's second spaceflight, which is currently predicted to launch in 2021. This service module uh, relationship, this partnership we have, has ESA as a critical partner of NASA and its exploration program. It's something quite new, it's really important to us, and it cements the role of Europe as a real global player in space exploration. The ESM will sit below Orion's crew module, providing life support and control functions. Its engines will propel and maneuver the spacecraft, and it will supply air, water and electricity, as well as regulating temperature. The ESM is derived from ESA's highly successful ATV cargo module, which carried material to and from the International Space Station. However, adapting the technology for manned spaceflight has presented a whole host of new challenges. There is heritage from ATV only in a few hardware items, but mostly the heritage is related that we know how to develop and to qualify a vehicle. But for example, there is something like a solar wave driving mechanism which has two axes of freedom. We have never had that before. This system we are now delivering does not have an onboard computer, uh, but it is steered from the crew module, which is called the Orion Data Network, which is an ESA-based communication system, which is something which did not operate on ATV. This collaboration between ESA and NASA means that astronauts will soon go farther into space than ever before. During its unmanned first flight, Orion will travel beyond the moon before returning to Earth. We'll go deeper than humans have gone before with EM-1. It'll really be a good chance to prove out the fundamental technologies built off of the ATV heritage uh, for going uh, deeper into space. NASA and ESA, the importance of that relationship was built many years ago. It's bringing great minds together from around the world. Uh, we can't explore alone. NASA cannot explore alone. Matthias Maurer from Germany is one of ESA's newly appointed astronauts. One day he may have the chance to travel to space on board Orion. 500 years ago we had the great explorers on the Earth. They had appropriate ships to sail the deep sea. We astronauts, we need to have appropriate spaceships to fly across the deep space. And that's exactly what Orion and ESM will bring us, the possibility to go for deep travel. As part of NASA's Orion, the European service module will be integral in supporting a crew of four astronauts for up to 21 days. A new chapter in space travel is about to begin thanks to a collaboration which pays testament to ESA's long history of spaceflight expertise.